as the the council's aware <coughs> seems like I missed a slide here but maybe I didn't uh, there's been some recent discussion regarding the area city impact agreement uh, between the city and the county as it related to a proposed uh, code amendment that Lata County was considering here uh, earlier I guess middle of last month uh, the uh, Proposal was to modify the land division standards within the county's Ag Forest District, and there were some concerns expressed by the council about the potential increased division or residential development around the city that could result from the proposed amendment. The um, city council submitted a letter of, of comment to the Board of County Commissioners asking that the commissioners consider either two actions. One, uh, not having the proposed amendment be effective within a certain area distance of the city limits to provide a buffer area and to mitigate this potential concern the city may have. Or two, to defer adoption of the proposed amendment until such time as the city and the county could uh, consider renegotiation of the area city impact boundary. Um, the commissioners did ultimately uh, adopt the proposed amendment, and uh, staff came back to the council, both to both committees last week, or week prior to last, uh, to seek direction from the council regarding how they wished to proceed in this conversation. And so that's really what our, the goal or the intent is uh, this evening. Uh, during the committees, and I won't, ha I won't go through this in detail, uh, we talked a little bit about the history of the Area City Impact Agreements leading up to uh, the most recent uh, Area City Impact Agreement that was adopted between the city and the county in 2004. Uh, we also discussed a little bit about uh, the Blaha versus uh, Eagle City Council case that uh, s established the fact that the uh, cities cannot have extraterritorial authority and, c and only serve as an advisory role within the Area City Impact. Um, and that was followed up by a lawsuit by uh, Utsman against Lata County in 2003 in which the district court deemed the then existing area city impact agreement between the city and the county as being unconstitutional. Uh, that led into a short-term interim agreement during a, a renegotiation process and up into 2004. Uh, again, where we adopted the agreement as it currently exists today. Uh, within the 2004 agreement, it adopted the city's land use and development ordinances and subdivision code within the area city impact, as well as comp plan, uh, and established the city has an advisory role in land use matters and the county is the decision-making body. Uh, probably one of the more substantial outcomes of the 2003 and 4 renegotiations was a reduction of the size of the area city impact, uh, which was reduced to approximately a third of its prior size at, at that point in time. Uh, on the map is just a map showing the city limit boundaries in the red dashed line. Uh, the purple lines are the current area city impact boundary and the blue green lines there uh, represent the prior area city impact boundary. Uh, prior to the 2003 and 4 renegotiation process. Um, under Idaho Code and the Local Lands Planning Act, it does require the establishment of area city impacts um, and that provide for the adoption of the comp plan and land use ordinances that apply within the area. And governing boards are required to review area city impact agreements every 10 years to determine if renegotiation is in the best interest of the citizenry. Renegotiations can follow really two possible tracks. The first is what we refer to as kind of an informal process. As long as everybody is amenable and working well together, um, that mutually agreed process really can take any form and fashion that the uh, two uh, bodies desire. And there really is no defined timeline other than the provision that when a request for renegotiation is made, those renegotiations have to begin within 30 day time period. Uh, the other process is a formal process that if uh, cities and counties were not able to uh, jointly and mu mutually and agreeably establish an area city impact, uh, there was a formal process that was established in Idaho Code that requires the creation of an advisory committee with three members, three county commissioners, three city elected officials, and three city or county residents. There is a very specific timeline uh, for that process in which the, that advisory committee has 180 days to provide recommendations to the governing bodies, and the governing bodies have to act on those recommendations within 60 days or it moves into judicial review. So there's a very defined process in the underneath the formal process. There are also references in Idaho code that uh, prior to renegotiation, the governing board shall submit questions to the Planning and Zoning Commission uh, for recommendations. I think really for the considerations this evening, um, the request that was in the July 15th letter was stated in the context of the uh, county commissioner's consideration of the adoption of the proposed amendment in the context of requesting them to 
delay adoption until such time as the city and the county could uh, renegotiate. Uh, so I think first I think we're looking for direction from the council as to whether the council desires to initiate renegotiations of the area city impact and affirm that or simply conduct a review of the existing area city impact agreement uh, as would be required by Idaho Code at the 10-year period. If the council desires to renegotiate, uh, then it would be staff's recommendation that the city transmit a letter to the county to clarify that the city desires to renegotiate uh, really independent of the, county, the county's prior land use uh, division consideration. That would really establish a clean and clear request for renegotiation mm -hmm. and begin that 30-day uh, time period to which we could work together jointly to define that process and to uh, establish a meetings to move that process forward. Uh, we would also recommend certainly pursuing the informal uh, renegotiation process that allows the opportunity um, to us to work jointly at a pace that's appropriate for the process and work through the relevant issues um, and that that process uh, we at the committee level certainly there were comments made that they uh, council members wished that to start with a joint meeting with the county commissioners really to outline some of the issues and begin to move the process forward and then ultimately I guess the staff as renegotiation if it is to occur uh, really looking to see from the council and maybe not necessarily this evening but again just to think about what is it that the city desires to achieve through that process whether specifically looking at the area city impact boundary uh, adoption of the city's updated comp plan in 2009 that currently is not in effect in the area city impact uh, land use and development codes there have been some changes that have been made since the, since the last adoption and procedures and process which are really the major components of that agreement um, so again I think uh, right now that's that's really the discussion for the council and I'd be happy to try to answer any questions that the council might have thank you Bill any questions for Bill about his presentation Walter, I know you and I went to the County Commission hearing on this issue. A lot of good it did us, too. <laughs> there you go. Failed miserably. <laughs> um, question for Bill. I, I'm in favor of, of looking at the, the city area of impact, not in total, but in the specific areas where we have belief that development could occur in the next Ten years, and in areas where possibly the area of impact line bisects something that we would like to have in the future considered in the whole, i.e., particular properties, possibly the South uh, Moscow Industrial Park, or whatever it may be. I think that the county would be more amenable to a resolution that we might like were we to not say we want to look at the whole thing and push it five miles out on three sides um, my concern bill is that is the letter that we we sent them on July the 15th because it invoked Idaho code 67 65 26 it triggered it it was commented on the letter and that clause were commented on by the chairman of the county commission at least twice, if not three times, that we had invoked the 30-day period. Um, I understand what you're saying about the letter was written in the context of them taking a particular action. And we did talk about that section of the code regarding uh, prior to the county's adoption of the proposed amendments. I would propose, I don't, I don't know whether you want a motion or what, but just for discussion, I would propose that we minimally right away write another letter to the county and, and clarify the fact that we are serious about wanting to talk about the area of impact and that just so there's no confusion between their action, our letter, their action, and our intent that we... Uh, you know, start the process and that we don't get caught up in state law, which uses the word shall in several places, uh, particularly in paragraph D, which says that renegotiations shall, be shall begin within 30 days after written request to the city or county and shall, fo shall follow the procedures for original negotiation provided in this section. I don't want us to have the county say, well, we kept waiting for you, and you didn't show up, and the 30 days expired, go away. 
And I don't know that they would do that, but I don't want that to be put in that position. Thank you. Thank you, Walter. Uh, Mr. City Attorney or City Supervisor, any comments about this in terms of interpretation of this section of uh, state code? Well, I'll comment about it since I was the one who drafted <laughs> the first letter with mm -hmm. Bill. Um, I don't think it makes a bit of difference. Uh, if the 30 days were to expire, it makes absolutely no difference. It doesn't foreclose us requesting that we renegotiate again. There is no definition of what renegotiation means. As we talked about, renegotiation, we have taken the first step by saying we want to renegotiate. One could interpret under the Idaho Code that it requires the county to respond. Thereby not responding, they are violating law. So my point is, is that the path that is being recommended is to uh, pursue the informal renegotiation process to get the council what it wants. As we've talked about, um, and we talked about this afternoon, we have talked to the county planner who indicated that she had talked to the county attorney and that the interpretation of um, sending a letter promoting a process or suggesting a process and the suggestion that uh, staff had made was to send a letter saying we would like to meet with the county commission, meaning the council, meet with the county commission to, to define the issues and set a process by which we can revisit the areas of any impact that both bodies want to revisit. Uh, that, in my mind, is pursuing renegotiation under uh, the code. If you like, that letter can be drafted pretty quickly and be sent out well before the expiration of 30 days from July 15th. Well, I'd like to see 